I'll wait. I'll wait. Hello, Heather. How are you today? I could be better, and I could be worse. Um, well, we got rats in the house. We got squirrels, and we got birds. And I've been trapping and killing them over the last couple of years. And my damn landlord is not willing to do anything to help me. Yes, I have. I went to see him three or four times to talk to him. Then I physically taken over dead rats and still no help and he doesn't give a hoot about me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of things need done, but he ain't willing to do anything. There's no fire escape for me here being upstairs on the second floor. There's only one exit out. If there was a fire, I'd be in harm, harm's way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how do I set up this meeting? Okay. How do I do that? Uh, the closest one is on Exhibition Street in Kempville, I believe. Okay. 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 Yeah, and we'll call that the rat fee for the traps I had to buy. Know what I mean? Yeah. I've, I've already killed eight rats. I, I, I caught seven in a trap, and I physically killed one. And I killed two gray squirrels. I batted them to death. Um, well, I had to. They, they were going to bite me. You don't know what it's like to be attacked by a couple wild animals, do you? And you don't want to know. Um, it was a bloody mess in the end. I ended up killing the two gray squirrels. I've also killed some birds that were in this house. We got three uh, vermin here. We got rats, gray squirrel, and birds. Not good. Not good for me. Because I have to sleep at night, and it's hard to sleep when you know they're in the house. And they're making noise. And they've been in the house the last three years. It reminds me years ago, I only had one other animal problem in my life besides this one. About 15, 20 years ago, we had bat problem here. The cat we used to drag in the bats. He'd grab them by the wing and, and drag them in the house. And I ended up killing probably 60-some bats. I was a serial bat killer. Because I couldn't get all the bats out of the house. The cats were dragging in, in the house. So I ended up killing the bats. Now I'm back killing rats and squirrels and birds. And I never thought I'd be physically harming or killing any animal. Know what I mean? Yeah. And the other thing, I got no damn fire escape here. If this place ever caught in fire, I might not get out. Or the cat. And he don't seem to give a shit about me, my landlord. I got one of them slum landlords. The only person he's worried about is himself. And the people that live underneath me got everything they want. If they need anything or want anything, they get it right today. Me, if I ask for something and it's a real concern, I can't even get any help for the concern. And they're not paying that much more rent than I'm paying. 
they're paying downstairs about eight hundred and a quarter and I'm paying almost seven hundred dollars for this upstairs dump one bedroom it's six ninety five you might as well say seven hundred it's only five dollars shy and it's a dump it's not fit for a human being to live in you know and the landlord's not willing to fix anything or do anything he likes my rent money each month but he's not willing to do anything to help me he said he was going to put in new floors and he hasn't done that he said that three or four years ago and he's not willing to put in a fire escape or a deal with an exterminator to get rid of these animals so I got one of those type of landlords that's make Scrooge look like Mickey Mouse. He's so fucking mean. Mean. Mean bastard. Know what I mean? And I'm being kind. I'm being very kind when I say that. Because I never thought that I'd be dealing with these type of critters that I have to exterminate myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'd like just to get the hell out of here, move. I wonder if there's any place I can go. Everybody says there's no places to live. This is kind of an emergency. I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. But the lady told me to call the tenant board, so that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. I called that 211, the Nova Scotia, they help you with resources. And these damn wild animals, you know, I'm not Crocodile Dundee. You know, I'm just a folk artist, not, a, not an exterminator. You know, even though I'm trying to exterminate these wild critters. So, that ain't good, is it? So that's what I'm contending with or dealing with. I'm dealing with a landlord that don't give two hoots about me. Yeah, yeah. What would you do if you were living in these circumstances? Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could move. Yeah, I do got a cat. I got a cat, Tubby. But he ain't a killer like me. The cat won't deal with the rats or birds or squirrels. I'm, I'm the one to end up killing them all. All he'll do is wag his tail and, and screech when he wants some food. He's about as useless as tits on a ball. Know what I mean? So I got to deal with the problem myself. Know what I mean? That ain't good, is it? No. But anyhow, the only thing good I got to say is I'm a famous folk artist, and that's about it. I got my own YouTube channel. But everything else is bad. Everything else living here is bad. You know. So what do you do in a case like that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Dennis Ramsey never come to live here to be an exterminator. Know what I mean? I'm just a folk artist and paint pictures like Maude Lewis done. You know. Yeah. The paintings ain't worth nothing until I'm gone, unfortunately. Like most artists, they're not valuable when you're living. Sad, isn't it, but true.